Hi everybody, I'm Andy Chalmers from South Derbyshire District Council's Environmental Education Project. Today is garden challenge number two. So, I've been busy going around the garden, collecting things, because we're going to play Mastermind. Uh, older viewers will remember this game from the 1970s. And before you get too worried, it's got nothing to do with the program Mastermind, okay? So, I've got my scissors with me, and the rule is this. We need to collect six different colours, uh, little items of different colours, and we can use them for our game. Now, the rule is also, you can only collect stuff that's on the floor, so I don't want people snipping off the nice petals from flowers. It's got to be stuff that's on the floor, so it could be sticks, it could be uh, uh, little stones are good. Uh, different colours makes it uh, really good, all right? So I've been doing that and I've been cutting some to size. So, come this way, come this way. So what we've got, I've made a bit of a ball, but you can just play this on a tray or on a paving stone, all right? I've got the six different uh, colours, and these are my right sticks, and these are my nearly right sticks, all right? Now, it might sound a bit confusing, now, one little safety point, make sure, because you're picking up loads of stuff off the floor, make sure later you wash your hands before you do anything else, all right? Very important point. Right, now, my daughter Harriet has set me a challenge. Underneath this lid, hidden, is a secret code. And the code consists of four different coloured little counters. All right, it could be more than one of each one. Now there's six to choose from, but the code is only four, all right? Now, I'm sort of halfway through the game. So for my first guess, I did this brown leaf, a little, uh, little pebble, a, a green leaf, and a yellow uh, dandelion head, all right? It was on the floor, I didn't just snip it off. And she said, I got one in the correct position. So one of these is in the correct position under there. And one of them is also in it, but it's in the wrong position. All right. So for my second go, I thought, well, there should be some other things. So I use uh, bits of wood. There it is. Dandelion head. The leaf, I thought, yeah, it's in the right place. I've left it there. And a bit of satsuma peel that I was eating earlier, good healthy breakfast, I put there. Now that resulted in one being in the right place again, and one being in the wrong place. So for my third go, I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll decide the brown leaf, the dead leaf there, there must be two of them. And I've gone for the dandelion heads, two of those. But oh my goodness, it's all gone wrong because she said none of them are in it. None of them are in it at all. Nothing in the right place. Nothing in it. So completely wrong. So scratching my head, looking confused. So what did I do? So I, I thought, well, maybe the green leaf, maybe a little stone, maybe two little stones, um, a satsuma peel. Now guess what? I've nearly got it because she said there's one, two, three in the correct position. So that means underneath this lid, three of these are right and in the correct position and one isn't. So this is where I'm up to. So challenge now. I reckon I can get this for my next go. I'm almost there. So, I think you know how to play. Can you? First, if you want to play, you're going to have to do all this um, preparation. And secondly, do you think you could solve mine for me by coming up with the correct code? I've got three of them right, but what might be the fourth what might it look like that's your challenge for today i'll see you tomorrow